play Monster Rancher today. We were hunting the monsters yesterday. Today we're raising them. To fight. They're killing each other this time. You're going up against me, are you? Oh. Oh shit. This is just randomized. I didn't take a look at the seating at all. Dimitri Alexandra with the 100 biddies. Thank you. Thank you. I want to play video games. Monster Fenric with the sub as well. 10 months already. Appreciate all the work you do for the community, man. Thank you. Okay. All that fun stuff out of the way. Um, most of these are new monsters. Most of these are stuff I've never seen before. So I don't have a lot of insight. We'll talk about it as we get into it. How about that? You know, I've wasted enough of your time already. Okay. So. I just set up my controller, but I never use my controller for tournaments. Uh... What who do we got first? We got Photon Cannon. Photon Cannon. And 612 Glory RN RDM. What the fuck? Six twelve G is probably enough. Oh, is this the this is the guy that got pretty far in the Koshin, right? Okay, uh, let's get our prediction going. Who do you got? Who do you got? P1, P2. Prediction is live, make your bets. Also, we're in fast, fo fast forward. Uh, I'm going to turn that off real quick. Two strict monsters. Yep, they got the ones. Well, I mean... One power, one defense, that's a little bit easier, you know? Uh, four intelligence, four defense. Definitely not cheated on this side. What do we got for bets? We got 80% on the Durahan. Here we go. Yeah, you got top 16. Oh, slash combo miss at 33. Comes a punch. Big old punch for 2 damage. Is it just Napalm Shot? Is that the only move? Is this the... This is the hanger that starts with just Napalm Shot. Oh, and Arm Cannon. Never mind. Maybe not then. Look at the size difference. It always cracks me up when I see the size difference between uh, Metal Nerd or uh, between Durahan and Hanger. Hanger's just like powers over him. The Tesla Hanger? It's not constantly on fire, so I don't know. Oh, is that enough to kill? It is. Glory wins game one. Game two. The short stack. He is. All that uh, defense. Well, it doesn't have much defense. He's got four defense. All four points not doing much good. 397. Needs to land two more. Proxy the anger. That's only good for 612. Proton gets nothing out of that. You think they'd be about the same height? Except, uh, yeah, the robot. The robot is quite tall. That's it. Oh, there's the grit. I did a lot more damage than I was expecting. You gonna finish him off? Two more? One more? Uno mas? Oh my god, he does it. And no grit? Proton Cannon gets the grit comeback. Look at that. Look at that. On a build with no moves that do any damage. Taking out the tank. The low kick hits him like in the kneecap. Oh, well. Do we see a grit? Because that's absolutely going to kill. That's it. 612, moving on. Proto goes down in round one. It's a fun build, though. I, I don't know how realistic it is to expect it to be consistent with only the one slot moves, but it's fun. I like the fun stuff. Okay, next up, we got Dr. Baloney, and we got Mateo. 
Is my tail the hair? Arrowhead. The intelligence arrowhead. Right, okay. Okay, we got uh, identical builds. Who do you like? Predictions live. Is he gonna Meteor? That's what it comes down to. More or less, that's what it comes down to. Does he get the Meteor? So if he does, it's very hard for Baloney to win. If he doesn't, you know, anyone's game. What do we got? A 50-50. Okay. We start in slot 4, which is good for Baloney. Thunderbolt opener misses at 99. Great start for me. It's the energy shot. Two in a row. A lot of withering, no anger. Good start. Well, only withering. I can't I can't imagine this set going worse than it currently is. But there's always a chance Mateo will use those power basics. Okay, Dr. Bloney finally attacking again. Okay, a little bit of damage there. Mateo in a good spot, though. Gets anger immediately. Ooh. Damage. But the energy shot with anger. Gonna get rid of all of Bologna's guts. Wow. This is, uh... This is painful to watch. Kind of crazy how after all of this... The thing that makes the difference is missing that first 99% Thunderbolt. If he had landed it, Dr. Baloney would have won. That's actually insane. I lost on a 1% roll. Game 2. A little bit of damage there. Two in a row. Give Mateo a huge lead in order to get the one hit kill with Thunderbolt. I like it. Or Meteor, I mean. Blaze Wall. That's gonna do a little bit of damage. Won't kill though. Meteor. Yeah. And just, you know, whatever. Whatever. I can't win if I get that unlucky. There's, there's nothing I can do in the world of Monster Rancher if my compute, if my opponent's got like nine horseshoes up their ass and I got that. That's just obscene. Oh well. Brad Warden and Braboskis up next. I'm not even saying GG after that. I'm I'm legitimately salty. That was actual bullshit. That was completely undeserved. <laughs> like actually fucking nonsense. Uh Braboskis. I say GG. But if I say GG, I'd be lying. Okay. I love Braboskis, but uh, I don't I don't know how well he's gonna do here. Okay. Prediction is live, who do you like? <laughs> ranch issue, yeah. Didn't have enough ranch, that's the problem. Okay. Seventy-five percent on Brad Warden. Uh, that's not even actually as high as I think it should be. Brad Warden should is probably like a ninety-nine to one odds, because uh, Verboskis only has blood suction. Three hundred damage. He's angry though. Oh my god! <laughs> Two in a row, let's go! Holy shit. I cannot fucking believe it. Crazy thing about that, still more likely than the loss I just took. Still more likely than the loss I just took. Okay. If he can do it again, maybe I won't feel so bad. I'll be... Overjoyed that Verboskis won this. 
Goes for the punch. Death thrust. Misses at 90. Oh my god. I'm okay. Okay, it's starting to feel. <laughs> Holy shit. Two in a row like this? I don't like this game anymore. For Boskus, this is your chance. You got a massive lead. You got like 15% chance to hit. Never gonna have a better opportunity. The 1% blood suction, he swings it. You didn't need to swing it, brother. Monster Rancher's wild in tonight, boys. You know, I'm not, uh... I'm not feeling too bad anymore. Okay, second 99 miss. Good. Good. The blood suction misses, but, uh, Braboska still has one more game to win this. We are three games in. Three sets in, we've had 399 misses. Just like that, I'm not salty I'm at all anymore. That is, uh, that is something. Though, to be fair, his 99 misses didn't do any damage, wouldn't have made a difference. Well, I mean, the one would have done a lot of damage. I lost on a 99 specifically. There's the Death Thrust. He's got it. That's going to be big damage. Ooh, 550 on the crit. Boskus still only really needs two hits to win this. Or one Blood Suction. No anger from him. Had a real, real low chance to hit. But it hasn't stopped him. Their slash combo. It's not enough to kill. It's got ease. Oh god, the 1% claw salt will kill if it lands. I want to see it. I, you know, I don't give a shit about competitive integrity anymore. Go for it. He's, okay, well. You know, Brad Warden got the luck at the end. His opponent didn't attack at all for the entire second match. So, what are you going to do? He's determined to win with Blood Suction. Brad Warden gets the win. Who's next? We got Grub Sauce and Perlu. Also, despite me going in on people last time for not being able to read the rules, there's still a ton of people who entered this with their monster name in the first field and their trainer name in the second field. Like, you guys literally don't read the rules. Next time, it's, it's happened so many times now, next time it happens, I am DQing the person. Because, you know, I'm ornery. I'm an old man, and I don't have time for this shit. I don't have time to watch you guys fuck up the most basic instructions. So, you know, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, choose prediction. Brad Warden got that. I can't believe Verboskis got a game. Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you like? Honestly, stressed every week if you've done it right. I... Why? Why have you stressed every week? The instructions are so clear. It's so simple. It says, please fill out the form in the format asked, i.e., and then there's an example, and then it's in the exact same format as the question. There's only one question, only a single question, and then it says, if your monster's name includes foreign characters, please fill out the search key, as you can only search for monsters via alphabet. So you don't even have to fill in the search key. I can't... I, I don't know how people... I can't make it easier. I, it's not possible for me to make it easier. The only way for me to make it easier is for me to fill it out for you. And I'm already doing that, so... I don't get it. Okay, 57% on Perlu. Hope Grub Sauce can take one game. I think he's got a shot. He's got that roll assault. Big damage opener. The gas. The gas hits. Straight can do a little bit of damage. Into the back blow. Ooh, that was a huge crit. Grub Sauce has power and doesn't really need it. This is max damage. Yeah, that's that's a clean 1,000. Like a tutorial video? You know what? Maybe I will. Maybe I'll make a tutorial video and I'll be like, if you still fuck it up, you're you're DQ'd. Because I've done it for you. Discord's a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh players they can't read, yeah. 
years of looking at two-point text has completely fucked up their vision. Damn. A double back blow. In top eight near everything is legal tournament? Wow, a hair did well in a tournament? Crazy. A pretty standard hair build. Got all the good stuff. Got big damage, got big accuracy. I know, it's wild. Who'd have thunk it? Ah, the back blow again! Not enough to kill, though. He... World record, thank you for the follow. We don't need the power, but he's got it! Who's swinging next? Straight. Do we get a grit? We do not get a grit, Perlu's gonna take that one. Came down to last hit. But the hair takes it. No one knows what Pot of Greed does. Uh, 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 okay. Who's next? Tin Junkbot. I'm gonna make another middleweight. I'm not, uh, I'm not down on that loss. Like, it is what it is. But I've been thinking about it for a while, because Dr. Baloney beats, um... Dr. Baloney was made at a time when you guys didn't know how the meta in 2997 played out. And so I was just banking on that, and he did pretty well for the first couple of weeks because everyone was trying to make speed builds work and they don't work against Dr. Baloney. Like, he's a huge speed build counter build, but he sucks against tanks. He's really weak against tanks. Okay, prediction is live. Since in a cute worm, next I think I wanted to go fucko mode. Oh, that's cool. Let him get DQ'd, they don't re need any more hand holding. Yeah, it's... It's such a minor thing, right? Like... It feels dumb being bothered by it, but also like... There's a sense of like... Just no respect given. Like, you can't read the two lines of rules and figure it out and try to make my life a little bit easier. Okay. I'm trying to think of who I want for my next monster, but I'm thinking the next tournament monster I'm going to build is going to be a 2997 B-Clon. 5347 for Tin Junkbot. And a little punch. Oh, the Roll Assault lands? Well, that's Kale. In a screen cap of how to enter both. That's what you're saying. I'm, I'm going to make a tutorial video. We'll uh, make it as easy as possible. Bot's angry. Or Worm's angry, sorry. Oh, he's got Fury? Well, damn. GG's. Bunch doing 600. For an attack, big damage potential here. Oh, a crit would have killed. Who's got it? Next attack wins. Uppercut at 80 is going to whiff. Oh my god. There's a punch. Let's well, once a worm is gonna take it. Ten junk bot misses. Okay, game three. 650 skills, still only has 80% chance to hit. Shit is nuts. Now hits the roll assault, it's enough. GG's. <laughs> you know, 82's quite a bit to bank on. He gets it. I thought he was cheeked up, he is kinda. He's got like a metal thong, sorta. With the cheeks out. Uh, what we got next? Worm God? In Bunder Mine. Oh shit, we got another brown mask. Okay. 
So a completely different build from mine. That's always fun to see. Who you got? Love that name? Yeah, it's a good name. Ugh. Okay. What is my purpose? You could go into the brown mask. So we've had three cocooned monsters so far. I assume was once a worm was once a worm. Okay. 76% on the hair. Wait, does he have the same build? Okay, it's the same stats as mine. <laughs> oh no, it only has... Only has Blaze Wall. Only has T-Bolt and Blaze Wall. Yeah, Blundermine uh, kind of in a good spot here. Smash misses, that would have been a kill for sure. Swings it again at 17. One two punch still sitting pretty nice at about 50%. 20 seconds left on the clock. Nobody's landed anything yet. Here comes the smash. Worm God with a huge guts lead. Undermine has some pretty accurate attacks. Gonna miss the Kung Fu Fist though. He's got the accurate attacks. He's not using the accurate attacks. Got Blaze Wall at 38%. That's Worm God's best chance. Oh, hits the straight though. Oh, the Blaze Wall is going to miss. A single straight takes it. Can you abuse form in this tourney? I don't have any restrictions on form in any of my tournaments. Sorry for my monster Utopia Red. A little bit of low stats. Yeah, no worries. It's all good. It just may not do very well, you know? No need to apologize. Okay, rematch. It's too much a pain of a pain in the ass for me to check form and people are always going to be bugging like hey can you check the form on this can you make sure it's zero or like whatever and i just don't want to have to worry about it that's one of those things that people can abuse and then be like oh i'm sorry i didn't know i messed up and they might be telling the truth and they might not and it's just it's not possible to tell so i'd rather not deal with that oh worm guy got a hit in the lead 50 50 on hard straight Almost 50-50. We're gonna have a one damage win here. Kung Fu Fist misses. Oh shit, he hits another one. There we go, six damage that time. One two punch, I think that's gonna take it. By abuse, I just mean not have form B0. Yeah, I know what you mean, Matt, but I'm saying... I, uh, I don't bother running tournaments where I have to check form because it's just too much of a pain in the ass. Okay, so the hair wins. We have a dragon up next. Low skill, high defense build. Air wins that one, by the way. Who you got? Prediction is live. Only time you've seen form restrictions, 300 turning. Yeah, yeah, I ran them and stuff in the Monster Rancher Battle League, but that's a little bit easier because I have full access to the monster and everyone's got advanced viewer and all that. When not everyone has advanced viewer, it becomes kind of difficult. Okay, here we go. 54 on the Durahan. 72 rolling slash, hits it. Dragon Galley is hideous. He's got the... He's got the invisible head. He's got the hologram head. Can't really see it very well in this arena. Ooh, misses at 74. Yeah, his neck and head are a hologram. 
gets it. It's just the galley face mask on the shoulders that's off-putting, yeah. It's pretty funny. So you can see it a lot better in the card art here. The There's the ear, the eye, eye, mouth. Slamming down opener. Gonna be a lot of withering. Good damage. Big crit there, but gives him power. Damn, we gotta watch out. Rush Slash with power, that'll be decent. 600 on the crit. Can he get one more power move in before he runs out? Power Rolling Slash, this is a guaranteed kill if it lands, and it's going to land. Do we see grit? No grit. Okay. Maybe if the opacity is higher? I think the opacity does need to be a little bit higher. It's a little bit too hard to see. Okay, same opening as last time. A crit again. Big damage there. Crop Handler doesn't want to use charge. He uses charge, but he doesn't want to use charge. Crocs anger immediately? Oh god. That does actually help out Crop Handler because his skill is so low. He doesn't have 99 on everything. That's going to land though, and that's good enough for a win. No head wins. Okay. Seedless Mike is back? We got Seedless Mike. Hell yeah. Okay, now I gotta find a monster named Terry. This is where the breeder name comes in handy. Is that a hundred life? Okay. Hundred and ninety-nine life. That's crazy. Okay, uh start a prediction. Predictions live. This is basically one life. For all intents and purposes, this is one life. Okay. 28% chance to win. Off the hop, he goes for it. And misses. He's just got explosion? Okay. This is, this is quite the build. That, uh... You know, you're gonna die anyway. If you're gonna die anyway, you might as well swing it, you know? Seedless Mike flicks him into the next dimension. It's game number one. Colorful plants up just so great. I really like watermelon uh, golem with the cabbage biceps. The brow hit. Ooh, beak thrust right in the dick. Don't like that. It's the punch. It's not enough. He's got one life left. And power and a 50 guts lead goes for the beak thrust again. See you later, Seedless Mike. You done. You done, kid. What are the predictions looking like? 67%. Two thirds on Seedless Mike going into game three. Lives by a damage roll. Can't fuck with the duck, you know? Explosion? No, oh, goes for the flutter slap. Also, see, this Mike hasn't dodged like anything except for the explosion. Like these moves are above fifty percent, but they're not a great chance to hit. There you go, Mike. I'm gonna need you to dodge things. <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. Oh man, poor guy. Heavy slap at forty-two. Oh, just like that, it's an even game. Here comes the punch at thirty-six. This could close it out, and oh, I would have killed anyway. Three hundred damage on the punch. Well. GG's. Seedless Mike gets that victory.
Uh, what do we got next? Akora. Two. Also, I, uh... I'm not totally sure. I haven't checked the Japanese entrance yet. I really hope nobody entered a Ripper. There's a couple of Japanese entrants in this. I'm gonna let her rock if they do, but, uh... I don't know. I, I'm just realizing now that might be an issue. Start a prediction. Prediction is live. Love seeing all the new breeder names in this tournament. Yeah, there's a bunch of new people. It's pretty fun. And I didn't even have the opportunity to lose to any of them, because I had to lose to Torbal right off the bat. SM freaking H, bro. Okay. We got wow, everybody likes Sandro. Okay. No chips to bet? Bet better. Oh my god! The 34 I-beam. Right off the hop. At least it wasn't patch. I'm used to losing the patch. And the power hard straight in retaliation. Oh, well, that was certainly a match. What's a ripper? That is a uh, Naga Pixie. There is a complex ban on Naga where you can't get any of its power text from Errantry if it has a gust rate above a certain level because of how powerful Naga is. The weasel thing from Fort, that too. I wanna play video games. Time for revolution it's our generation. X4. X4. Thank you, Salvius. Never sing that that's you know, that's the opposite of the song of my people. That's the song of my enemies. Thank you very much. Six months. Wow. That's great. Uh who got that? That was the hair with the quick 2 -0. Straight was enough. Got Bonsai and Spanakopita. Spanakopita is back. Bonsai is back as well. I haven't raised a Swayzo in a while. I got Malloy, but I mean, that's not competitive. I might do a uh, lightweight Swayzo, and that could be fun. I feel like it's kind of done at this point, like a lot of people have done it, but... Very similar builds. Ooh, look at that. A little bit of low burger power on Spanakopita, but uh, this is the type of matchup where that doesn't matter. Okay, predictions live. Who do you like? But yeah, Utopia Red, just uh, so you know, we're not talking about Monster Hunter 4. It's the Naga Pixie. Naga Pixie is like the strongest legal monster, and uh, we have the best versions of it banned because, you know, it's a solved build. It's not really fun to watch. It's objectively the best. It can still lose, but like, everyone's like, oh wow, the Naga one, who would have thought? I'm very anti ban in competitive games for the most part, but it was just, I don't know, it wasn't fun. The chewing? Oh, we'll miss the chewing. We're also all miss. Damn, Spanakopita. Got a shot here. It needs to actually connect. 119 damage there. The same sub, are they not brothers? Cousins, maybe? Distant cousins. We got the same mom. I guess I would make them siblings. That's not how that works. They got the same dad. Stepbrothers. Anatomy. Yeah. Genealogy's hard. Uh, 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 gets power with two seconds left. Is he gonna do anything about it? Power teleport on the zero? No, he walks backwards for some reason. Anacopa is gonna take it. Okay.
There are other tournaments out there for people's rippers go enter a JP tournament. <laughs> I don't think anybody's like lamenting the loss of rippers. Rolls all hit through ease. It did. Had a good chance to hit. Yeah, Spanakopita is one of those monsters that is very, very bad to get keys against them. Fritz for cats with the raid! 44 viewers, eh? That's sick. Hell yeah. How are you doing? How are the kitties? The kittens say hello. Well, hello back to them. You guys don't know Crits for cats. Oh my god! The power roll assault? I'll get back to that in a sec. Um... Spanakopita wins it as a quick 2-0. Hits through ease, hits with power, roll assault, move of the match. Um, okay, we got Utopia Red up next. Let me get this sorted and then I will uh, do proper introductions and all that fun stuff. Okay. Uh... Which one is it? Okay, well they got the, the search key. Tiger, okay. So yeah, th that is pretty far under the cap. That might get blown up, but you know. It's just nice to have you hanging out. Right. Okay, one second. Let's get this in. There a hand. Are they named the same thing? It doesn't matter. Did you do the sign up for the tournament right? You did, but you got two monsters named the exact same thing, so I couldn't tell which was which. Okay, prediction is live. Make your bets. Ah, uh, okay. So thank you, Crits for Cats. If you guys don't know, Crits for Cats runs a channel where they stream, and he's got a bunch of kittens running around. He uh, does fostering, so there's always a ton of little little kitties. There's a kitten cam. It's a very fun stream, very cozy to just go hang out and said hi last night not last night the day before or was it last night i don't know my days are all messed up i've been spending way too much time video editing my my brain is mush but yeah they were playing stray when we raided them as well game looks like a lot of fun okay so 94 percent on the duran does fezzable thank you for the follow that's very kind of you and Lawn Cells as well. Thank you for the follow. I was a little bit late on that one, but I do appreciate it. Well, Rush Slash gets it. So this is like the... This is very similar to the same build that uh, Ponju made. Just the basics, nothing else. It's Don Quixote. Well, that's a good name for him. Kelmatics is such a cool looking monster. Very nice colors on it. The Blizzard miss at 1%. I don't, uh. Oh, he dodges the dash slash. He does it. Gets him. Gets him. So, Don Quixote is moving on. Utopia Red. Down and out, but, you know, there's always next time. Always next time. Thank you for joining the tournament. A lot of good players lost round one, so don't feel too bad about it. Uh, who do we got next? We got... Okay, we're into round two now. We got a bunch of... What do you call it? Got a bunch of people who have 
gotten buys. Buys the word I was looking for. Yeah, okay, I just want to make sure I did that alright. Yeah, so let's take a look at the bracket real quick. I'm going to go get some water, but before that, you know, we'll take a look. Okay, so we're on to round two. We got some more fun matches. I'm going to go get some more water. I will be back in 30 seconds. See you guys in 30 seconds. Yeah, welcome back. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Tyrander, thank you for the sub with Prime. Two months, that's sick. This is my first tournament. Technically, I'm very happy to see my monster, and I'm re-entering a tournament on Saturday. What's well, the golden tournament? Hell yeah. You feel my malicious aura as he pours the glass of water? It's a big mug. Big ass mug of water in a Sapporo mug. It's by B-Y-E. That's how you spell it. Everyone else is dumb. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're glad to have you here. Thank you for participating. Normally, tournaments aren't best, like, single limb like this. Normally, we get more matches in, but there's too many people signing up. I have to cap it at 32 if I want to do double a limb, and that also means I gotta start on time. Or even early. Because that's usually, like, a five-hour stream. It's Axe Battle- oh, why- how did I fuck that up? Okay, here comes Patch. Is that a hundred life again? Okay. We got Durahan fight. What was the <laughs> the one monster in the in the Japanese Discord with uh, one life and one speed? Yeah, predictions live. This is gonna go one of two ways, as does every. Match. Match. Prescient insight. Almost your first tournament. Glad Terry put up a fight. Also your first. Yeah. Terry is a fun monster. He needed to land the one explosion. He landed a lot of hits. I love the, the hyper... The hyper glass cannon build people are making. Yeah, 999 defense, one life, one speed. <laughs> Good chance to get grit, I guess. Rolling slash opener. Ooh, rush slash miss. I don't think rush slash will kill. It'll be close, but I don't think it's quite add enough damage. Maybe with the guts lead. Glory needs something. Rush Slash lands 260. The Guts lead help there for sure. Glory is going to take game one. Yeah, half the people in Japan are just making Cronius Nightmare builds. We laugh at them for it. And we thank them for it. But then everyone else is just doing that anyway. Oh, the cut or the Rush Slash, it's enough. Glory wins it. Two single hits. That's enough. These monster builds are so terrifying, wonderful, and disastrous. They're uh, they're something. Trampoline up next. And Achilles. He 
You guys are not ready for my next tournament, though. We've talked about it briefly. If you've been paying attention, you know what my next tournament is going to be. But you're still not ready for it. My next next tournament is probably just a lightweight tournament, but... We'll see. We'll see. I got plans. Okay, uh... Choose prediction that went to glory. All the glory to glory. Prediction is live. In DX or hard mode, it's in DX. Or strategy, <laughs> you knew what you were getting into. You know? You landed your attacks, at least. It was pretty close. Consider me excited as someone who's not been paying attention. It's not a Monster Rancher 1 tourney. I do want to do a Monster Rancher 1 tourney at some point, but I think I'm going to stream a little bit of Monster Rancher beforehand to get people excited for it, the same way I did with Monster Rancher 3. Um, so that's a little ways off, but we will be doing them occasionally. Trampoline with the 55% of vote. And that's it. The Super Glass Ganon spread on a gel with Gatling? Crazy. Triple shot, significantly less damage than what we just saw. Good crit though. Need to recast your vote? Okay, I'll let you, just this once. Both monsters can attack. Got power. Yeah, this is this is a. I lied. Oh, there's the swing though. Oh my god, he's like, you fuck. You dodge my 99 power giant wheel. I'm gonna swing on you, and that's it. Well, that was that was definitely something. That was awful. What the hell? Fourth 99 miss today. Yes. But that's a KO. Trampoline takes it. For a moment, I wanted to live in a world where 99 moves hit. If only. Next up we got Nevermore. I assume it's a Kaken. I, th I think we've seen Nevermore before. Yeah. And Mateo. Mateo's back. I really like Mateo's build. It's unfortunate that I had to fight it and I had to lose in the way I did. But I really like the Intelligence at Arrowhead build. Okay. So the two Meteor Drives take that for Tram. Prediction for this is live. Why do people use the train? I don't know. Because it's cute. That's like 90% of the decision making process when I'm making a monster. It's like, do I like the way this guy looks? And if yes, then yes. They get to work. Nyak, 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 nyak. Okay. Color Pandora is extremely good, though. Mateo with the 58% of the vote. Falling Beak opener? Oh my god. Can we see Falling Beak? Nobody ever gets Falling Beak. There's a reason for it, but. I'd like to see it. The punch, that's not what he wanted. There's the falling beak. Tick, 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 tick. Boom. No damn. <laughs> that's a good crit, I suppose. Okay, good chance to do a little bit of withering here. Maybe just waste his guts, though. Triple stings. 376. Minus 14 guts. Not too bad. Nevermore in... I don't want to say trouble, though. He's got a decent amount of life. Oh, that was a good crit on the beak thrust. Mateo needs to back up. He doesn't want to be using punch. Triple Stings might finish him off. Meteor definitely will, but I mean... Ooh, the bound. The bound is enough. Nevermore takes it. Love the little bird guy. He's cute. He's a little duck. Yeah, it's some. I love how hollow the sound is when he lands it though. It's just like, bonk. It's 
to getting hit with a basketball. Again. Hit him again. Proc's anger. That didn't proc, in th that didn't proc a crit in three hits. There's a triple stings with anger. That's going to be a lot of withering. Lots of them guts down. Nevermore is going to have trouble getting back into this fight, I think. Both monsters can attack. Nevermore can win on a crit, but outside of explosion, doesn't have anything that can kill in one hit here. Triple stings will do it. He's just hanging out. Punch will not do it. Colossal will also not do it. Comes another bound. Mateo decides not to attack. Nevermore gets the win. And that's that. A1. I don't know if that's how this is pronounced, but... Uh, you can uh, let me know. Penguin. And Brad Warden. Okay. So that went to duck. Prediction is live. Who do you like? Who do you like here? Probably Aune. It's A1. Steak sauce. A Aune. Aone. I'm, I'm saying A1. Because. He's got potential to win the whole thing. The best. Yeah, we got stage fright from winning because we never win. Just my luck, eh? Okay, 84% on the Monal. Smash combo. Can do a decent amount of damage. Puts him in the green. And, ooh, missed the second one. for the flattening. This is that. Hey, the needle stabs, that'll do it. Okay, so Monal wins game number one. Death Thrust opener, missed at 26%. A lot of guts down. But it would have killed, so you know. Who am I to say? Two knocks? Knock, knock. Who's there? Me. I'm still alive. It's not funny, but it's true. Smash. Oh, it goes for it again. Oh, and the spike stabs? Well, he's super dead now. Vortex and slot 2 to cover flattening. He still goes for it. Well, the Monal wins. Shocker. We all know Monal's the best monster. And that Penguin is just copying the build from the Koshin. Uh, Troa and Perlu up next. I haven't seen Troa in a while. Does Troa have Death Slash or just the basics? And Perlu. Okay. Start a prediction. I hate you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still I'm still salty. <laughs> I'm taking everyone down with me. You guys can hear scratching in the background, that's bacon eating. Like nails on a chalkboard, but 86% on Troa. <laughs> hi, Bacon. Chat says hi, Bacon. Okay, 50 50, exactly. So he does have Death Slash. That slash makes this a much better matchup for him. Straight gonna do decent damage. Oh, the Kung Fu kick.
Five misses, really? How many attacks have happened? How many attacks in the entire tournament have happened? Like, maybe a hundred? Oh, the big crit one-two punch. You gonna keep going? No, he stops. Oh, the back blow! It's enough. And no grit. Perlu. Real pissed about game one. Takes game two. Game three, here we go. Is it another 99 miss? Yes. Another 99 did miss. On a game winning attack, too. There's the anger. Pretty even pro Lou with a slight lead. Oh, this can do so much withering though. Minus 22. Sapping his will to fight. That slash. This is a KO. Do we see a grit? We do not. Tro is going to take that one. So Perlu, add him to the list of monsters who have miss missed a 99% and lost because of it. Just keeps happening. Just keeps happening. Mask Judge and Banquo. Another? You know, Brown Mask is the best galley. I shouldn't be that surprised, but... Okay. So that went to Troa. Prediction is live. Make bets. Get all monsters get grit with the disc chip. Can all monsters get grit with the hair disc chip? They can. I assume that's what you're asking. That feels unfair, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't grinning. Honestly, man, I know exactly what you feel like. It's like, oh, well, that sucks. But also, I won, so what are you going to do about it? Updating scores real quick. Okay, what do we got? 50 50 again, 4,000 on both sides. Next little dude's design, he's fancy. He is fancy. I entered the same monster in the tournament, but he was dead before you guys got here. I actually don't know what little dude you mean. Do you mean the dude with the bow tie and the velvet pants? I entered the other guy that just sent a, a storm out of his face. I think they're both fancy, though. Banquet will win this. Banquet was set up to go to a banquet. Ask Judge gets game one. Ah, uh, there's the Cyclone. Pick him up, put him down. 900 damage. 999 damage. They are both fancy little guys, they are. Blaze Ball miss. Typhoon is going to hit at 25, though. That's enough to kill. Oh my god. He grits. He's not out of it yet. He's got one life to live. Back from the dead. Touched by an angel. 35%. He kicks him in the mask. Big ass damage there. Next hit wins. Blaze Ball 53%. Dodges it. Banco not with the best chance to hit, but does have one move above 50-50. Goes for a kick at 36, lands it again. Does Mask Judge get the grit? He does not. Banquo with the grit comeback. Eliminates another galley from tournament. Banquo does not die when he is killed. Fun fact. Kokita. Kokita's back? Hell yeah. Kokita's one of my favorite monsters in Middle Wave. And Tin Junkbot. Who we saw for the first time earlier today. Okay. 
Prediction is live. We got the two hanger subtypes. Miss Gold Swayzo from combining Silver and Bronze Swayzo. Yeah. So, uh, Silver Swayzo and Bronze Swayzo can't get grit, but because the way that you get Gold Swayzo is by combining them, you can get grit on a Gold Swayzo specifically. Gold Swayzo ends up being explicitly better than the other two because of it. Because they're the same otherwise, more or less. And Banquo with the 2 1. Kokita and Junkbot, who do you guys like? 92%? Damn, Gokita doesn't do that much damage though. Junkbot doesn't have a lot of life. He's got the B clone combo, but if he's not doing the B clone combo, I guess the 500 or 600 skill is definitely not doing him any favors either though. B clone combo against this build can probably do 500 damage. Maybe. You know, Junkbot, he's very friendly. Iron Giant vibes. Gets him with the Fist Missile. A little bit of damage there. 10 Junk Pot still hanging in there, but kind of maxing out at 13% chance to hit. Not great. 7% uppercut. 24% on slap. He goes for it. Ooh, that might have killed. It's another Horn Strike. Crits for barely enough to win. That would have done double digit damage. Otherwise, Kokita is going to take game one. I love Melkarba, man. The reason you would get Melkarva is for Fist Missile, or because you think he looks cool. Those are the only two reasons. Uppercut's gonna land at 10%! Oh my god, 874. Holy shit. You can tell if Uppercut's gonna land or not before the move actually hits, because there's a slow zoom in when the move connects, versus no camera movement at all when the move misses. So, a little bit of a spoiler, but you can see it before it happens. B-Clunk combo opener, how much damage? Gonna be a lot. 299 would have been a damage roll to one hit kill on a crit. Can Junkbot do it again? Goes for the punch. Maximal punch, three big ol' swings. Doesn't put him down though. Why is the RNG so insane tonight? It's kinda crazy. I think the... The Nuzlocke runs cursed, Monster Rancher as we know it. With a heavy punch, it's enough. Okita's gonna take it 2 1. Okay, who's next? Hot Chick Heaven? Hot Chick Heaven's back. And two whip trip. It's <laughs> a good name. Hell yeah. I bet he's got two whips. Start a prediction. Who do you like here? Hot Chick Heaven actually won a tournament. You can tell if the move hits if the enemy loses HP. That's that's also true. Don't a lot of moves have little tells like that? Yeah, they do. If you watch closely enough, like, there's some that I can't tell. There's some that there's just no differentiation, but there's a lot that I can, I can tell very early on. Uh, some of the more obvious ones, like, I think um, Uppercut's one of the more obvious ones, but then you have stuff like Naga's Drill Attack. Naga's Drill Attack has, like, a pretty drastic camera zoom in if it lands and no camera movement at all if it misses. 57 on Hot Chick Heaven. That shit rhymes. Hits the fire breath. GG's. 20%? Who cares? Oh, fuck. There's the grit still in it. 60 guts lead. It's got the two whips. Got the suffocation. No breathing. Drowns her. And she grits too. It's not over yet. But two whip drips still got guts and Hot Chick Heaven does not. Two whips. Wap wap. Misses it though. There you go. There's the whips. Two whip drip. Almost got 20%ed to death. But he's still in it. Still hanging out. Yeah, game number two. The double grit. Flame at 19. The two whips opener. The crits. GG's. 
Oh my god. Jell's a good ass monster. Okay, that'll do it. Next up, we got the kick bro. Not the kick runt, not the kick boss, but the kick bro. And Bundermine. So we got the two hairs fighting off now. Kind of similar builds, but we got 542 and 400. Like, pretty close otherwise, though. Okay, prediction is live. The Kick family, the whole family. Mind me, I got I still have a bunch of emote slots I have to fill. I need animated ones. Oh shit, I can edit my own. What what looks good with sunglasses? Oh hell yeah. This shit's free for me to do. That's sick. Sunglasses fit right on them. Okay, bunny fight. Wasn't this some shit in the anime? Where the fairy hair was like in love with wild hair? But wild hair turned out to be a scoundrel. Hair gang emote? We need a hair gang emote. Kung Fu Fist gonna take it. Fairy hair takes game one. But do you remember this episode? We watched it on the anime. We watched it on the the anime viewing nights. Maybe we'll do that again. I was worried when I hit a partner about um, copyright shit, but Twitch doesn't actually seem to give two hoots about that kind of thing. So maybe we'll do it. It's definitely a breach of DMCA, but I love how people like to pretend it's not, but watching a thing and doing commentary over it is not is not transformative. It's the gas. Kung Fu Kick? Miss. We haven't seen that land today yet, I don't think. All Dragon Mochi Tournament? God. Big Bang! Undermine takes game one. Hair protagonist, the fairy hair, and the wild hair were in a team together, and the wild hair sold them out to the bad guys. That's exactly correct. Reminds you of the cheap ice cream cups with the strawberry lines inside, the ones that they give you a wooden spoon. Like a. It's basically like a popsicle stick to eat. That was 2 0. That was 2 0. My bad. It was 2 0, right? That's 3 0 now. We're reminiscing about the anime. Either way. The hair wins. 3 0 now, yeah. Okay, who's next? Undermine moves on. We got two monsters who haven't fought yet. We got Ultra G. And we got a Japanese player whose name I won't be able to look up, so we got the code. We got the secret code. Oh shit, we got a one life golem. Hell yeah. Oh, it's IG, okay. Uh so that went to the fairy hair. How come nobody bet on the fairy hair in that one? That was crazy. That's a huge payout. Prediction is live. Dick's kick says, oof, I bet on the wrong bunny. Yeah. They're both doing a little bit of dick kicking, though. So.
you're not what am I trying to say? You're not you're not in the wrong for not knowing which dick kicker to vote for. You of all people. Okay. Uh 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 seventy four percent on Ultra G. Cross Smash gonna do big ass damage. Six at ninety five. Crit would have killed. Left jab will kill though, that's a thing. Oh hits him. It's some good. Ultra G takes game one. Any one life monster? You use uh, Lorox. Lorox lowers your life. Raises your power and your defense. And lowers your life. Big ass crit. Okay. Game three, just like that. This Pajaral doesn't have particularly inaccurate text, he's just kind of stuck having to walk through two terrifying slots to get to it. The crit, the crit wasn't necessary. The one life golem takes it. A golem against many other monsters would have had an extremely hard time. But uh, against the Pajaral that has nothing in the first slot, quite different. So, the golem wins it. Who's next? Alfric's got a monster. Another golem. Ooh, special golem. And... Dragon. Ooh, we got a kaiju fight? Getting ready for the next one. Okay, so... That's an important thing to remember in Monster Rancher. Matchups are extremely important. Got bodied by the golem, he used his own body to do the bodying. Brung near. What do we got? What do you like? 61%? 60-40. Okay. Trample opener. Big damage, big squish. 790, no crit though. Brow hit. There's a good crit. And just like that, they're tied up. Except, Prongnir spent far fewer guts, so now the head is down. Someone DC'd so you can watch the match right on. Well, hopefully it's not for nothing. We see a crit trample. Trample doesn't have the highest chance to crit. Both monsters can't attack. Brow hit. No crit there. A crit will kill. He attacks a second time. Both monsters in pretty good shape. Brow smash will kill. Punch will not. Ooh, but next hit wins. Do we see a grit? No grit. No head got two tramples off, but it wasn't enough. Actually, kind of crazy that the golem having nothing in slot three ended up helping him out. Okay, uh, Hubble and Seedless Mike up next. Hubble the Galaxy. We've seen this before. And Seedless Mike. Whether or not I root for a monster is 100% just on what their name is. Whatever name I prefer. Because I like Hubble, but it's no Seedless Mike. Hubble's pretty good though. I like how his name is Seedless Mike, despite the fact you can clearly see seeds in him. I suppose it's a Utica expression. 99% on Seedless Mike right now. See how that changes over time. Okay. 55 on Hubble. Seedless Mike trying his best to convince us those are not seeds. It's just dandruff. Or bugs. Bugs. 
Hubble using those power attacks. Well, he's landed both the basics. He's got three damage on the board. Ooh, the 40% brow hit. Pretty spook. This is it again. Hubble's in a pretty good spot. Scratch honestly wouldn't be too bad right now. Soundwave misses. I mean, Scratch doesn't have a very good chance to hit, but it does wither for a ton. Maybe it's Acne, it's very rude of you to call attention to it. If they were black like that, they'd just be blackheads. That's just dirt in your pores. That's not uh, a hormonal thing. Brow Smash misses. Wow, see, this might can't land anything. Hubble has a chance to run, ran down the clock. And he does, sorta. Hubble with three damage. Freckles, maybe? Maybe it's Freckles. You know, I, I'm willing to believe they're not seeds and it's actually Freckles. Oh, Screech, there you go. There's some actual damage. Brow hit 37%. Ooh, no crit there. Crit would have killed. Kinda crazy. Goes for the kick. Boots down that door. FBI, open up. Seedless Mike wins game number two. Nobody saw that coming. Nobody saw only the power tax hitting. You're right. Game three. Just like that. Much different game from game one. Ray. Ooh. Press the laser in the brain. Heavy slap on the 50-50. That's going to miss. Both monsters have a decent amount of guts. Here comes another heavy slap. That one's going to land. The camera angle on that one is slightly different. That's an interesting one. Screech lands. Ooh, not enough damage. Hubble has taken a chunk out of Seedless Mike, but he's still ticking. One more Screech. Ooh, he's down to the rind. Got nothing left. No flavor. Just crunch. Worst part of the watermelon, but he's still in it. The charge misses. See, Liz Mike's got a shot here. Brow Smash a little bit risky. Goes for a heavy slap instead. Gonna miss at 45 or 46%. One second left on the clock. As he swing the punch, he does not hobble. Eats him up and spits him out. Wins 2-1. And advances to the next round, which I believe is top 16. It's top 16. Generic and Sandro. We haven't seen Generic in a while. Generic the uh, Dragon Metal Nerf. And Sandro. Wait. Sandro lost. Right? Yeah, Sandro lost. That was uh, that was a mistake. Uh Makora. Sandro landed the frame one I beam and then lost both games. Okay, choose outcome. That goes to uh, Hubble. Okay, prediction is live. That was a really close one. Nobody could hit anybody. <laughs> It's always kind of like, oh my god, when that happens. Okay, 64 on the hair. People are thinking the hair's got it. Generic does have, like, the dragon build. Got tail whip, tail attack, bite, and trample. Sometimes that's all you need. And the bunny one, the bunny did win. Tail it miss. Who hits it that time, and just like that, generic is in the lead. Makora can take the lead back pretty quickly here, not gonna really miss anything. I mean, on a normal day, it wouldn't miss anything, but today, I don't know, man. Today, we've already seen 599 misses. I don't know how many more we're gonna see. Hard straight gonna land. 247. There's the trample, though. And 
didn't smoosh. He got smooshed. I keep trying to advance with uh, my keyboard, which I don't. I don't even play DX with a keyboard. I play hard mode with keyboard. I play Monster Rancher 3 with the keyboard. But I don't play DX. I play DX with a controller for some reason. The double tail whip. That'll do it. Generics moving on. Dragon is very strong. Did I not do a bet for that? I didn't do a bet for that. That's okay. It's over. I'm not doing a post-mortem bet. Benny and Sulaco up next. Benny G. Oh shit, Olfice got a new guy? Okay, start a prediction. Is this lightweight in the challenge bracket? It does. Um, yeah, I can change that. Okay, well, there you go. Fix that. Okay, what do we got? 66 on Slaco. Icicle Arrow, got the Splash. I mean, Undine always picks up Splash, but it's always very spooky as a tank to deal with that. For some reason your opponent's slot is empty. Oh, because... Why did that happen? That was weird. Yeah, either way. Okay, that was an easy fix. Slaco wins game one. Oh shit, we could have the two dragon meddlers fighting each other. Gidris is pretty strong. 36% on trample misses it though. Benny in a good spot. Nice call arrow with a guts lead, 775, puts him into the yellow. There's the real proc, real anger. Like me earlier. Ice arrow, this will be enough to kill. Do we see a grit? No grit. Then he takes game number two. Game three, here we go. Nice arrow. No crit that time. Pushed into Icicle Arrow range. The crit will kill here. Ooh. Actually, you know what? It may not have. That would have been really close. That would have been a damage roll. Bite lands. More than half of her health gone just like that. And he still has potential to win this, just not with Ice Sword. Trample, misses, Benny in range to attack, water gun, not enough guts, barely enough now. That should do it. That's it. The Undine moves on. Your goal in one first round, which one was your goal? Okay, uh, uwu. We got uwu up next. And we got Spanakopita. Interesting matchup because Spanny does not have much damage. Fighting a tank. One of the better tanks in this format. Very good anti-meta pick. It's, it's almost meta now. Wonder whose monster this is? Was this the Progenitor? I think this was like the first one. Or no, I guess there might have been... There was a... Uh, Love me, and then there's this one. Okay, 
And what do we got here? 80% on the Niton. Well, so big crit 150. Hell yeah. Finally, Shell misses. Manicopita can always stab or 1 2 its way to a victory here. There's another big crit into the yellow. There's the anger though. Ooh. ooh. Has a shot. Still not out of it yet. Ooh, actually won a Japanese tournament. Big damage on the numbing stab. 50 50. Pretty good chance. Bite. Gonna do a little bit of damage. Not enough to kill. Next hit wins. Numbing stab. Do we see a grit? We do not. Ooh, ooh. It's the double stab for victory. Spanning out this got really low life, which makes it rough. Somehow naming a monster that ooh makes it feel like stealing a trademark. At this point, yeah. There's a there's an established brand with Salvius now. On shell, 45% chance, GG's. That's a kill. That's a kill. Snail Boy wins. I just realized I have not raised a competitive Nython since DX came out. Won a Japanese fight? Yeah, they did. Or, yeah, they won the whole thing. They beat a bunch of rippers. And Japan was like, what? I had no idea Nython was any good. And we were like, yeah. <laughs> In this format, Nython's really strong. Trapeze. Oh, Jesus Christ. As if that's censored. Trapeze, man. And... Uh... Don Quixote. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like? Spanakopa had a shot there. You know, it landed the stab. The two crits back to back. People are liking Trapeze Man. That low skill might hurt uh, the Kelmatics out. Maybe it won't. Maybe it'll just hit the 24 off the hop. Yeah, the 14 misses. Trapeze Man with a pretty good guts lead. Chop combo. 44 misses that one, though. Both at 40 guts. Who's swinging next? Chop is going to land a little bit of damage there. The thing is, Don Quixote doesn't have to spend much guts at all to attack. There's no chance for him to waste a lot of guts. And in this matchup, that's probably pretty good for him. Ooh, hits the cut in two. 17%. <laughs> sure. Dice roll, baby. He did a six, and he rolled a six. Trapeze has rape. Yeah, it's censored out. A lot of dumb things in this are censored out. There's no context for any of the censoring. Ooh. Doesn't even chop into that combo. He does. He does double overhead chop. Wow, the cut in two is going to hit at 22% again? Kabu can't land anything, but he keeps getting hit by 20s and below. Just one of those days. 30 seconds left. Pretty big guts lead. The cut in two comes out. I'm expecting every one of them to hit at this point. Okay, 20 seconds left. Trap. He's man almost 99 guts. Samurai kick, his opponent gets fight? You don't see fight very often. What the fuck? As if he can't land anything. This is insane. Huge guts lead on the Gaboo still. He needs to just swing. I can't believe this. He gets one hit, but he needs another one still. Not over. Another cut in two. Are you for fucking real? Wow. Just... Obscene. That is actually so stupid, but that's also how Monster Rancher works. What's the effect of fight? It gives you guts equal to the percentage of life you lose when you get hit after your opponent builds 99 guts. It's, uh, it's very specific. To say that in another way, when your opponent hits 99 guts, you can have a chance to proc real. 
or you have a chance to proc fight. Yeah, when your opponent gets the 99 guts, you have a chance to proc fight, and if you get hit while fight is active, you gain guts equal to the percentage of life you lost when you got hit. So. Vibes of this tournament are very chaotic. This is the most chaotic tournament I think I've ever run. This is just... It's just actual nonsense. Like, how is that a 2-0? How'd he get 2-0'd? Never having worse than a 76% chance to dodge. Just awful. Oh my god. Uh, okay, we're into top 16 now. Let's take a look at the bracket real quick before we go forward. Okay, so here's where we're at. Yeah, I know, it's the way Chalange does it, it's all up in the top corner. But we got 612 and Trampoline. We got Nevermore and A1 Steak Sauce. We got Troa and Banquo. Kokita and Tulip Drip. Undermine and I don't know how to pronounce this. Rungnir and Hubble. Generic and Benny. Benny and the Jets. Uwu, F-O-O, and Don Quixote. So, fun tournament so far. Two Japanese players that entered are in top 16. Um... It's been pretty fun. You're betting on the monster that can't get hit by anything? Um, yeah, good luck with that. Also, I'm out of water, so I'm going to go get some more water. I'll be back in 30 seconds. BRB. Okay, welcome back. We are in top 16 of the DXBL's second season of Middleweights. It's been a lot of fun tonight so far. It has been fucking insane. Just, like, numbers don't mean anything anymore. Math is whatever. I mean, if you're an actual statistician and you're seeing this, like, this is probably the most boring thing in the world to you because, like, 1% is highly probable in the grand scheme of things. But, you know, for us, people who don't understand math, it's crazy. Monsel says, I gotta head out for the night because your mom's about to head home and will be back next time. Thank you for tuning in. Always appreciate having new people checking out the game. Uh, okay, so first up we got 612. 612 Glory. And Trampoline. Okay, prediction is live. Seems to be a lot less grits than normal. That's adding to how crazy it is. It just, everybody's just dying. Nobody wants a second chance. Did you do Papa John while I wasn't on stream? Did you do it while I was away? Is that why nothing happened? Or did it happen and I just wasn't watching? Papa John's. Nothing, none of my stuff procs on the BRB screens, I don't think. Day of wrecking will come. Better wrecking. Better 40 it did happen, okay. Johns. Yeah, I don't have the sound effects in my ear because they're way too fucking loud. So I can't tell all the time. I know what happened there. So we got two in a row. Look at that. Alright, 54% on trampoline. Meteor drive opener. Big damage, 50 guts down. That attack does a ton of recoil tech. Recoil damage if it misses though. Million stabs. Maybe a little bit of damage. Trampoline's gonna keep the life lead and the guts lead. Kamikaze finisher. He's got spiral rush. Yeah, it's him.
Okay. Another Meteor Drive opener. Another 43 Guts down. Glory is in a spot to do some damage here. Crit Slash combo could do it, maybe. Just for Rush Slash. That's, uh, that's not quite the same amount of damage. There's a cut in two. Okay, we got the basics. We know he's learned the basics. Pushes him back in a giant wheel. Another Rush Slash into the green. Triple shots to finish him off. No grit or a grit. No grit. Trampoline moving on to top eight. Glory once again gets top 16 in the tournament. The official Koshin and now this one. Okay, Nevermore and uh, Aoni. Aoni. A1. Okay, ducking in top 16. Whack attack. Out in full force. Who you got? Predictions live. No grit. No grit. Okay. Okay. So five seconds left in the bet. People are liking the mono. Never mind, I lied. Got 70% on the duck right now. And back to the model. Two thirds on the model. Here we go. Oh. Spike bite. Good damage. Good opener. Nevermore can do explosion. Goes for it. It lands. GG's. <laughs> oh my god. Everyone always using their highest risk move. Falling Beak at 38%? Maybe not as good. Charge damage. Two charge. Ah, ah, ah. Three charge. Ah, ah, ah. Four charge. Explosion of 34. Misses it. I was in range to die to another charge. Here's the knock. Gets him. We got a game three just like that. Game three. Next win takes it. Moves on to top eight. Who do you got? Bound at 62. The beak thrust is gonna miss as well. Alan has a huge guts lead. It's flutter slap for a tiny bit of damage. It's the second one. 70 guts lead. The opponent's got 976 life that he needs to do damage to. Nox is going to do a lot here. 600, or 816. Flutter Slap with Anger? Wow, that actually, you know, not too bad. But the Spike Stabs is going to finish him off. Nevermore did not have a chance to dodge. So, the wall is going to win. That's a lot of guts. Okay, uh, who's next? We got Troa and Banquo. Prediction is live. Who do you like? Who do we got here? 50 50 right down the middle. Banquo goes for the Cyclone frame one. Yes, he does, and it misses at 97%. Well. Was at 99, so I suppose it's, uh... Yep. I suppose it's something.
Okay, game two. At 300% more chance to miss than what we've seen lately, yes. Two? We see a second Cyclone? No, he's shook now. He's like, I'm gonna use the hit tech on the tank. Kick? Could do it. It does enough, Banquo. Gonna stomp his way to a game three. I really want this type of build to become omnipresent in 2997, so people stop running just life, skill, and power. 2997 is such a fucking coin flip because of it, though. It's like, oh, you ran into the one thing that hard counters you. Sucks to suck. The punch is gonna take it, though? Troa. The 97 dodge. 97 dodge caravan. Moving on to top 8. Kokita and 2 Whip Drip. I don't care who wins this one. These are both champs in my eyes. Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you got? 97 is just 99 as far as Tro is concerned. And just to watch your boy lose to a 3%, that's Monster Rancher. You made top 16 though. So yeah, not for nothing. You should have watched the first game. The second set was my monster. And I lost because I missed a 99. And then game two, my opponent didn't attack a single time until it had a massive guts lead and then used its nuke and got me in one hit. Uh, okay, 54% on two of drip. And the crazy thing is, that was just the start. That was the start of like the most insane run of bad luck for people. The next match, we had somebody miss two 99s in a row, uh, and then it went downhill from there. Two whip drip down to half health, 40 seconds left. It's the two whips, how much damage are we looking at? 233. A crit would have killed on a roll. Here comes a horn strike, 400 damage, but there's the grit. Two whip drip, liking those grits. Keeping himself alive, another horn strike, that one misses. Over 50% chance to hit. Maximal punch on the coin flip, that one misses as well. Whip misses. Stab hits at 39. The crit. Ooh, big damage. Whip takes it on a grit win again. I really want to see Kokita win something. But, you know, I wouldn't be opposed to two whip drip winning. B clunk combo 41%. Oh, big swing, big miss. I, I respect it, but also GG's. <laughs> he swung it. He did his best. What else can you ask for? Okay, uh, 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 two whip drip with the 2-0 there. The two whip 2-0. Two Undermine. Undermine and the 1 HP golem. Okay. Prediction is live. 1 HP is enough. He's got to fight a speedster, though. Doesn't have the tank killing potential that he did in the last fight against the, the Bajarl. It was a Bajarl, right? Yeah, it was an Ultral. Give him the gas. He can win on a gas. Gas is what, like plus 5 accuracy? It'll be above 50%. It'll be pretty close. How do you even get to 1 HP? You use the rocks. 57% on the golem, 36 on brow smash. It'll kill if it lands. Misses there. Bundermine gonna have a decent chance to hit. 1-2 punch. Goes for the smash of all things at 20%. Oh my god. 
and that's gonna land. This golem could not get luckier if uh, his life depended on it. Japan in general, I, I can't, I can't stress enough. Can't stress enough how lucky Japan was today. They're closer to Tecmo. They paid off Vegeta. They know. They know something we don't. Lucky boy Nash. I know. Dang, 48%. Undermine does have pretty expensive techs, though, that's the thing. Kick is gonna land. Not enough to kill. Spin kick at 27. Oh, okay, the hair is lucky as well. They're both lucky. Golem is named Rabbit Hair. Okay, we got two lucky boys. Who's got it? Brow smash, 36%. There's the KO, GG's. We see grit. We do not see a grit. <laughs> okay. Sure, whatever. That's one of the more likely outcomes of today, of all things. Today has just been nonsense. Uh, so IG moves up. Got Hrungnir and Hubble. If Hubble advances, that golem's in a little bit of trouble. Hubble's only weakness is that it's got a bunch of power techs and no power stat, but it doesn't matter when you have one life. Golem's hilarious, it's really fun. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like? Who do we got today? About 50-50. Oh, 60-40 for Hubble. 60-40 for Ungnir. Just bouncing back and forth. And back to 50-50. Screech. A little bit of damage to Screech. You know, it's a hit tech, so it's not going to do a lot of damage against the tank, but it's better than using those power techs. Scratch can help win him this, though. Ooh, the kick misses. Goes for the gas pedal. Sound wave. The ease? Oh boy. Double-edged sword. Watch for the kick. It misses. Does Hubble still have ease? He does not. Scratch. This is gonna be goofy. Minus 30 guts on that. Scratch only costs 20. Uh, it withers quite a bit. So you pick it up on intelligence builds because, you know, you don't have any actual intelligence techs in slot 2. It's better than using flattening. Hits the flattening. Brow hit at 48, 50, 50 chance to win with the buzzer beater. Hungnir is going to take game one. The slow march was too slow for the for the Hubble. Not letting your golem play. Well, he won. Mm. Beam with the good open. Hungnir has got the slap at 54%. How much damage are we looking at? A crit? Okay. Well, thanks a lot. GG's. Golem wins. So we got a golem fight. We got Elfric versus IG. Generic and Benny. So Benny just beat a very similar build. Exact same monster. Can Benny do it again? Probably, because this is a pretty bad matchup for Dragon. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like? Two hits, two kills? That's all it takes. This has been a really fun day. It's been crazy, but... It's been a lot of fun. And we're going to be finishing pretty quickly, too. We definitely could have done... Couldn't have done a... Uh, a double a limb, like it's just way too many, but like 80 matches, not really gonna happen. But uh, 
the 25 or so we did, definitely a little bit more manageable. And guess where he goes for the ice coal arrow. I can't, I want to say ice arrow to shorten it, but ice arrow is a completely different move. Goes for the trample. He's always going to be trampling. A, B, T. Always be trampling. Gave him the Mufasa. Trampled to death. Here we go. Game number two. Nice arrow. 271 minus 12. There's another trample. Nothing but misses that one, though. Rayo, how are you doing? Too bad you missed the sign -ups. Forgot that one tourney was today. Definitely sign up for the next one. Hell yeah. There's, there's going to be tournaments weekly, so don't worry too much about it. Next week is going to be... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next week. I'm not actually sure. I think next week is just going to be whatever I decide to build on stream as a competitive build. Got the anger. Does he have the tramples? The tail attacks. The angry tail attack. Is it enough? It's not quite enough. He does have the lead, but it barely matters. He needs the KO. Splash is going to take it. Look at that. Then he takes game two. Into game three. I like that we have a couple of different like standardized formats at this point. Japan still only really runs 2997, but I like ours. Big damage, big withering. Dragon does not like losing 20 guts for nothing. Kill attack at 60, pretty spooky though. Those for the trample. Do it. Just land it. Just land trample. What's stopping you? Don't let your dreams be dreams. Generic with the 2 1 tramples his way to victory. ABT, brother. Okay. 2997 would be, all day would get very tiring. It's a very coin flip format. It is. It's fun, but it's not uh, particularly competitive. Compared to the other formats, I should say. The other formats are definitely let you be a little bit more creative with less extremely hard counterpicking. You can you can try a counterpick in the other builds in the other formats, but you end up with like stuff that is kind of like extremely crappy most of the time. And I think that's great. I think if you want to make something that's really goofy that has a chance to win but isn't like fantastic, that is a good and healthy game format. But I think if the goofy dumb shit you build has like a 50-50 to win, it's uh it's a little bit more like, it's just random, right? It feels like a time sink. Okay, prediction is live. Got back to Monster Rancher 2 recently due to DX, play a shit ton as a kid, relearning everything, finding competitive. is super fun. Yeah, it's sick. Not the most time in the Game Boy Advance game. I played the Game Boy Advance game on stream a little while ago. I was debating uploading, but I don't think I'm going to upload the, the whole thing. I think I might upload the final fight. Because I uh, I got extremely lucky in the final fight, and I think that could be pretty fun. Unless you know what, maybe I can uh, I can grind down the vod to like a, a little ten minute thing or something. But I'm not gonna do like a full like one hour vod like I do with my other competitive builds. Sixty three percent on uwu. Okay. Forty two on violent shell doesn't go for it. Electric stab at forty, that misses. I believe in you, Wu. Just have a 38 is gonna land. A little bit of damage there. Cut in two. Got a lot of guts saved up. This will do decent damage. We don't see the dash slash combo. Electric Sabbath 39 misses that time. Still has pretty good guts lead. Cut in two is a pretty powerful basic tech. Not the most accurate, but it does decent damage. Especially for only 12 cost. Gets him with a stab, a little bit of damage there. Two in a row, misses the second one. 30 guts deficit for Uwu. Keep swinging though, electric whip. Oh, 361, the crit is going to do it. It's the unfortunate part of having only text in slot two and three is that those are for the most part the two slots that your monster spends the least amount of time in. 
So it helps the Durahan build up a Guts lead, but it also means that he's prone to not attacking. Million Whips at 37, he lands it! Does he crit? He does for 700 damage. There's a grit. He's got a long road ahead of him, but he's not out yet. Dodges the stab, keeps his 40 Guts lead. It's a Rush Slash. 300 damage. 240. Spike Shell at 44, a little bit risky. Swings and misses. Still has roughly 35 Guts lead. Goes for a Spike Shell again, 41, misses again. That is now an 80 Guts lead. But see how they just keep walking through slots 2 and 3? Oh, there's a Dash Slash. How much damage are we looking at? 521. Don Quixote takes game number 2. The Grit comeback. What subbreed is Uwu? Metalner. Thanks for the tutorials. Yeah, no problem. Rush Slash opener. 198 damage. Ooh. Time for Uwu to build a Gutsy Electric Whip at 41. That one's going to miss. Does a little bit of a lead. Can only take so many hits, though. That's the thing. Another Rush Slash. And this monster does no withering, which means that Uwu can't get angry. Violent Shell misses. Another cut in two, this might kill. 218, and no grit. Wow. Okay. So, the Durahan wins. He moves on. So, that is now our top eight. Let's take a look real quick, and we'll see where we're at. Japanese monsters are protag. It's looking like that. It's looking like they got the inside scoop. They they bribed uh, Fujita. They know what's up. They might have to fight each other though. They will have to fight each other if they both win the next one. Uh, trampoline and a one Troa and two whip drip. The golem and the golem and then generic and uh, Don Quixote. So that's going to be a lot of fun matchups. Guys in Isekai and Protag, he's uh, he's not going down. It's a good build. It's a known build. A lot of people have made it. Um, that match in particular was not like particularly lucky on his behalf. He got some good luck. He got some bad luck. It, I think it was mostly a wash in that one. Earlier on, he got some crazy luck though. But that was that looked like a very normal Monster Rancher fight, which I mean is kind of an anomaly given how the rest of today has gone. Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you like? Unless there's a theme on the next tourney, I'm going to enter Intelligence Centaur just for the memes. Yeah. I don't do many theme tourneys. Um, just because I feel like when you do a theme tourney, you have to build specifically for that. And that's fine. I like theme tourneys. I like building for theme tourneys, but it makes it hard for me to uh, run them because it means I usually have to put in more effort with um, making graphics and things like that, and I just literally do not have time for it. So I like running the weekly stuff, and other people could run theme stuff if they want. And uh, that way there's a nice mix of stuff. Okay, 50 50 down the middle. I used to run nothing but theme tournaments. And then I started running the league, and I was like, well, this is actually kind of interesting, too. Pretty solid amount of damage to himself, and then he gets flattened. Got a correction with no slot, one or four has probably helped. Well calculated on the person's part. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty well-known build. It's pretty solid. Giant wheel. Oh, he gets the grit, though. So, Aoni is still in it. I always have to think, like, how do I pronounce this right before I say it? Spike Bite goes for the big chomper, gets him. 660. He ate the train. Samopian any good competitively? Just a casual monster. Um, so the monster with the fastest guts rate of that subbreed is usually the best monster of that subbreed, of that main breed. But um let, let me rephrase that. That was very, very haggard. The monster with the fastest subbreed is usually the best monster of that given breed. 
So like Arrowhead, it's Mustard Arrow and Selketo. And Logsar, I think they're all tied. But um, there's so much RNG that it doesn't really matter. You just, like, the better stuff will win more often. More often, in theory at least. But, I mean, if today's any indication, it really depends on the format. I haven't built a proper meta pick in quite a while. I think the last one I built was uh, the Racky Metalner. That Mr. Stromboli, that was so long ago. Uh, okay, so Annie is moving up. Troa and Two Whip Drip up next. Prediction is live. Who do you like? Racky subs are optimal in Pixie and Golem due to fashion. You know, you make a good point. Stromboli and Baloney are pretty meta. Baloney is kind of meta. Baloney was me relying on people not knowing the meta, but it's not actually fantastic. I, I tried to make him as good as I could, right? Like, I tried to set out to make a good competitive galley, but if I was building something today, I would, and my goal is to win, I wouldn't go with that build. I guess Power Man 2997 is actually the last meta build I made, but I got super unlucky with that. I want to get into competitive, but I only saw the signups for this yesterday. Yeah, I only did uh, signups for this one day in advance. Are the most common I run? I actually have, uh, if you take a look at, I guess I can post the rules. Here's the, here's the doc. Here are the main formats. As Troa punches his way to victory. Troa like Death Sight's pilot? Yeah. Okay. So that document has all of the rules for the DXBL. Three different formats in there. Pick whichever one you think you want to enter. You feel free to enter all three. But yeah, um, I think it's uh, pinned in competitive play in the Discord. But if it's not, maybe that's a thing for me to do. Suffocation, get some. Tro is heavy arms pilot, but it's still it's still a Gundam reference. Speaking of heavy arms, he gets it. Troa moves on to top four, punching his way to victory. Okay, the next up, we got Golem Fight. Got the 1 HP Golem and we got a Tank Golem. 1 HP Golem might actually be pretty good in this matchup. that went to him. Prediction is live. Who do you got? About 75% of Western tournaments are in those formats, and about 75% are what's left in 2500. That is very true. Um... Okay. 88% people are loving the 1 HP golem. He's got a shot. Cross smash opener. 700 damage minus 21 guts. Rungnir only needs the one hit. He goes for his own. Got a Ooh, is that going to be enough? It's enough. We're almost done. 
We're almost done. 35 on the kick. Misses it. Brow smash with the guts lead even. You guys are spending you're bleeding so many guts or so many chips for this. Oh, and there's the kick. The golem wins it. One HP, too many HP. A 2-0. You're not allowed to do it anymore. Okay, generic and Don Quixote up next. Yeah, that's a rough match for the other golem, because you're probably not gonna hit. What do we got here? Okay. Choose prediction goes to Rabbit Hair. Okay, prediction is live. Naji's very committed. That was a lot. Gotta have a good brother chorus every now and then. We had three almost in unison. It was chorusing for sure. Okay. I'm always surprised that doesn't kill my viewership when you people do that. People are liking the Durahan here. Ooh, actually it pulls back to 50-50, okay. Or 55-45 in favor of the Durahan. Cut in two, 95%. It hits. A little bit of damage. Trample at 36. Ooh. Misses, because he turned his back on him. You never turn your back on your opponent. Crit tail attack, 484 damage. Cut in two in retaliation. Good damage there. One more will tie him up. You're here for the brother course. That's the only reason you watch. Cut in two lands again. Good crit. Generic needs to walk forward or trample immediately. Misses the trample again. Okay. Okay. This guy has had to fight only one monster that wasn't a tank, and he got so lucky in that fight. Seems to be doing well against tanks, though. Miss that bite. Good guts lead. Oh, another bite miss at 54? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Damn, and a crit? I can't believe this. I can't believe you've done this. Trample at 31. He lands it, finally. Is he gonna grit? He doesn't grit! He doesn't get the luck. Comes down to this. The finals. Game number three. Buy the Kaiba starter deck, yeah. Another trample? Damn, dude. He's just swinging. He's like, I can't hit him with my accurate attacks. I might as well go for trample. This is the trample again. Huge lead on guts. And crits. It's nothing but crits. Not out of it yet. Another trample at 32? You know, I respect it. But it's probably over. Do we see generic get a grit? We do not. This is the only monster allowed to grit today. Him and two whips. Okay, so we get all Japan fight in top four. We have the West on one side and Japan on the other side, guaranteed. I say the West, but I mean, uh, Penguin is Philippines. We have the English speaking community on one side and the Japanese community on the other side. Gonna come down to this. What does the Japanese players know that we don't? Uh, I don't know, they, they know how to dodge. I wish I knew how to dodge trample. Troa. Okay. You can't dodge, you actually only need one HP. It's very true. Okay. Start prediction, who do you like?
Looks like as a foreigner, you had a rough time against JP. Yeah, you, uh, dirty gaijin got bodied. Okay. Who do you like here? We're almost done. We're in top four. We're going to be ending a little bit early today, but it is what it is. Troa Dem Hands. Okay. Two thirds on Troa. Spike fight opener. Got real up and personal. Leaves him with nine life. That smash miss at 49. They doubled that smash. You know what's funny? The English speaking monsters with the Japanese names and the Japanese monsters with the English names. Yeah. That's pretty good. Three seven two versus seven two three. Oh my god. It's almost a palindrome, but not really. Hits him with the charge, a little bit of damage there. Death Punch is gonna land, knock him. Knocked his block off. Look at that. Spike bite. How much damage are we looking at? 491, not enough to kill. Tro is still in it. Both monsters in the yellow. Who's gonna attack first? Death Punch miss at 50 50. Spike stabs? No, pushed out of the way. Next hit wins. Spike stabs gonna. Of course. Of course. Of course. And there's the charge. And he gets it. Tacmo. Fujita's ghost is haunting this tournament. Not even dead. Okay. So, and he makes grands. Congratulations. HDH, thank you for the six months. Very kind of you. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Okay, so Annie is our he's our hero. What about Japan? Who ends up being Japan's hero? I think Annie actually has a decent chance against both of these guys. Honestly, I think the Duraman has has this. This is gonna be rough. Uh okay. Fujita with the astral proje projection. Coming uh coming straight for my throat, you know? Okay. Of course, 99% hit will miss. At least he didn't lose because of it, you know? Vegeta's got my number. He saw me making fun of uh, the 1997 tournament. Ima versus Fimba, something like that. Okay, 61% on the golem. 66, two thirds for the golem. 33% on the brow smash. Swings at frame one, and it misses. This is Fujita's revenge from a combo. Oh no, Fujita's revenge. Oh wait, that's right. This guy doesn't know how to fucking hit. He can't hit anything. Thirty percent. So spooky against both these monsters having a bunch of heavy techs. Yeah, but uh, one of them's got skill and the other one doesn't. Cutting two fourteen, he lands the fourteen. Okay, Golem goes down. Brow smash miss. You lost your bet, yeah. Cut in two, misses that one. I just fully expect everything to hit from both sides. Oh shit, there's the diving press. Okay, we got a game three. We don't have a game three. They got the same amount of health. <laughs> uh, next day it wins. Brow smash to do one damage. I respect it. It misses though. So, Durahan with a 40 guts lead. What's he gonna do? More cut in two? Goes for it, 21%. He's 
He's got the hurry. <laughs> Lands the 17. There's the grit. Back to full health. Let's go. <laughs> you can't grit tie with a monster with 1 HP. He's back to full health. Okay, we, here's our game three. Cross smash 34 and GG. No, what the fuck? He's still in it. He's not out yet. Another grit. What is with this guy? He knows something we don't. He knows something we don't. Oh my god, the dash slash misses. Punch at 39. Can't land a dash slash. He does foolery! Into diving press and he lands it. I can't believe what's going on here. Oh my god. The foolery into diving press. Oh my god. We had 11,000 on the golem. Okay. That That's quite the BM ending. What? What? Doing foolery? Uh, uh, you think you can hit me? No, and then he dumps on him. Okay, we got... Grand Finals. That's 3 out of 5 for Grands. This is... The Big Finals. This format is ridiculous every damn time. It's it's a goofy format. There's a reason it's not our uh, our main format in the West. It is the main format in Japan, but we play mostly 3500. Okay, prediction is live. And I guess, I mean, I think um, 3500 is still the most... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, we are going to start the prediction, but we're going to do a one minute bet. You guys have one minute to get the bet in. Prediction is live. This is grand finals. It's just as bad as being bagged before getting one tap. Yeah. It's pretty rough. Kind of love it for what it is. It's yeah, I love it for what it is too, but it's definitely not uh, what I think like the best representation of the game is. It's very crazy, but it feels the most like salty bets, you know, where like anything can happen. But it doesn't. It doesn't have the same sort of like competitive integrity as some of the other formats do. All right. USS Fullhammer, thank you for the follow. Okay, it's good to have shit like this, but not every week. That's how I feel. I think like once a month doing this is pretty good. Troll Golem or Spiky Boy? Could be either. What do we got? We got 15,900 on the golem. 30, someone just dumped 15k on the golem. Yeah, we got 32k on the golem, 17k on a &E. We have two-thirds bet on golem. So a three-to-one payout if you bet on the monol. Cross smash 35%. Misses. This is best three out of five. Needle stabs 46. Misses there. It can be demotivating as an entrant to get foolery and body slammed by a 1 HP golem every week, yeah. Brow smash at 29, misses, and he still one hit away from dying. Oh, he almost went in, and then he decided against it. Two knocks at 70%, knock at 64, misses the knock. Knock never lands, man. It's like a meme in the community. That shit is extremely accurate and never makes, like, contact. 58. This is again. Kick at 36. It's gonna whiff. 10 seconds left on the clock. What do we got? Two knocks? No, here comes the punch. He gets punched. We see a grit. No grit. Game one goes to the golem. Getting that bad luck out of the way if you're an a &E fan. That was pretty... Pretty rough, but you know, that's how it goes. Cross smash at 35. Okay. Japan, one win away. I, I can't get over the luck, though. The luck is pretty insane. What's a search key for the goal? I'll post it. 
Are you for fucking real? Yeah, there's the grit. He's still in it, but like... Bro! That is so... <sighs> okay. Sure. Whatever you say, game. Whatever you say. I... I have no words. That's... <laughs> that's the most Monster Rancher ending. This entire week was just the most cursed week. You knew what you were getting into? That was... That was definitely something. How you train the Luxat on your monster? You join the Japanese Discord. Um, you know what? Let's go. Let's go say hi to the Japanese Discord and ask them how to raise the Luxat. One sec. Uh, let me pull out translate real quick. Is there a link to the JP Discord anywhere? Yeah, I can post it in my Discord. 